Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a promised unboxing video of something that I may have mentioned in my previous videos. I've been saying video a lot in this past minute or so, so let's just get right down to it and see what is inside of this ginormous Amazon box. And no, the item did not come from Amazon. It came from an individual seller in one of the Facebook groups I am a part of with Coach. If you haven't checked out the Coach Facebook groups, I recommend a few of them. I really enjoy CGR as well as the Rogues, Rebels, and Dreamers groups. Both of those are awesome ways to find coach items at a discount or ones that you can't find anymore that people have in their own personal collections and are cleaning out their closet. It's a great way to find those items. So let me get my handy dandy ceramic knife out. I love this tool because it keeps me from slicing into things I don't want to slice into, which here in my closet, a lot of the things I unbox are definitely things I do not want to slice into. This box is way too big for this bag, and I knew that it would be because the seller told me she wanted to make sure the item arrived in pristine condition. So it is very well padded. We are talking about some excellent, excellent packaging right now. So here we go. Oh my goodness. How sweet. She even wrote me a note. It says, Erin, I hope you love your new treasure. I'm starting to get pretty excited. My blood is pumping. This is the moment. Anyway. Okay. Here we go. I told you this was a soft tabby and I'm already seeing that the color is going to work. So actually, I guess I didn't tell you it was a soft tabby. I did hint that I was getting more soft tabbies, but at the beginning of this video, I certainly didn't tell you. So you wouldn't know what the heck I was talking about if this was your first video that you watched of mine. Okay, so here we go. Let's do the reveal. This is a beautiful, stunning color and wow, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So this bag is beautiful. And I can tell you right now that she is a keeper without a doubt. One thing that the seller did tell me was that there was a tiny little defect or mark or something right here in the back. And I don't know if you can see that, it's right there. But let me tell you, when I buy from an individual seller as opposed to a store and they take the time to point something like that out, it just raises my confidence level in them about a thousand percent. And the reason for that is because I figure if they took the time to look the bag over and find something small like that, that I'm not going to need to worry about anything else because they are very detail oriented and very interested in having a very... I'm saying very, 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 very. They're interested in having a happy customer with no issues on the sale. That's the way I sell things. I tell it like it is. I say every little tiny imperfection, I make sure that they know whoever is buying from me knows absolutely everything about the item before they receive it, no surprises. And that is the way that you don't have returns. Because as an individual seller, returns suck. I haven't ever had one. Knock on something. I, I don't really have real wood in my closet. Knock on MDF. I haven't had a return. And I'm very glad about that. Because it costs a lot of money to ship these items to people. And to have to receive it back would just be a nightmare. So, or not fun anyway. Maybe not a nightmare. I mean, it is just a handbag after all. But this color of the soft tabby is called candy pink. I told you that I sold one of my bags. I'll insert a picture of it here. And as you see, it is the pillow tabby that I sold. I love the pillow tabbies, but I have a friend who loves the pillow tabbies maybe even a bit more than I do. And she told me that she just really wished that she could have the pillow tabby and taffy, but that the resellers were asking too much for it. 
so I sold mine to her and I sold it because I really wasn't using it a whole heck of a lot. I had only used it once or something like that. And I figured, you know, she's going to enjoy it a lot more than I am. And I will get a bag to replace it that I will use a whole lot more. Enter the soft tabby in candy pink. And I did find something really interesting just now when I opened this. Okay, so this is fascinating to me. And I can't say that I love that this is different like this, but here is my clip on my short strap for my dove gray soft tabby. And here is the clip for the candy pink soft tabby. Do you see the difference? The candy pink one is longer and skinnier. And I wonder if when they were manufacturing it, that they ran into a shortage or something like of that nature. I have never seen a long skinny clip like this from Coach. And I wanna get my glasses on and look at this because this is kind of mind boggling to me that this is different. If you look, I've gotta give you the side eye here. If you look at the ends, Coach is written on the, on the little knob here on this one. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just trying to show you. It's also written on the knob on this one. And it's not that I'm worried that it's not authentic. It's also written, Coach is written right down here in the bottom. It's just, I have never seen a long skinny clip like that. And what's even more baffling, these two clips are different. So the long strap for this soft tabby, the clip is just like it is on my two straps for my Dove Gray, but the clip for the short strap is different. And that's on the same bag. That is a disappointment to me. I don't know why they would put a different style clip on this bag. I mean, that it just doesn't make any sense to me why they did that. Does anybody else have the soft tabby in candy pink or any other soft tabby for that matter where the clips are different on the two different straps? Moving on. When I sold my taffy pillow tabby, I looked at this jacket from Express, which I still have not worn yet. And I thought, this is the only jacket that I'm looking at that I think, well, I guess this is the only item in my closet that I'm looking at that I think, oh, that, that pillow tabby would have looked amazing with that. Well, I think I found a new bag to go with this beautiful jacket. What do you guys think? I think that that is a gorgeous pair, a gorgeous combo for sure. I mean, it's like a perfect match. I have a lot of pinks in my wardrobe. I mean, look at this. This is a nice match too. So this bag is going to get used a lot. I love the color. I love the gold hardware that is paired with the beautiful candy pink. And the color, I think it's really reflecting true to what it is. I did find a couple of these on eBay and I can link them in my description box. These were a department store exclusive here in the United States. And I don't know if they're available in other parts of the world through coach.com, but definitely here in the US, they were just at the department stores. There are a few being sold at retail price on eBay. And I think there's one on Poshmark, but when I asked her for pictures of the actual item, she never even replied to me. And so I don't think that's a good sign. So I would say go with one of the eBay sellers. They both have really good reviews. If I remember correctly, I'll link them in my box. And let me just give her a spin so you can see all of her beauty and all of her glory. Okay. Oh, and we haven't looked at the inside yet. We need to look at the inside too, don't we? It's got the nice zippered pocket in the back. It's got a beautiful cream lining which the organizer I ordered for this beautiful bag is cream. I was debating about the pink, but then I called back, or I didn't call back. I messaged the Etsy seller and said, can you do cream instead? And she said, sure, no problem. So I think I showed you all the sides 
It's got a nice little coach hang tag that I'm probably going to hang a little Rexy from because I have an extra charm that's not hanging on anything. And when I take the stuffing out here, you're going to see why these bags need an organizer, in my humble opinion anyway. I'm just taking off all the wrapping. Let's do it. Okay, so you see the beautiful suede, and this is real genuine suede, and it runs all the way to the floor of the bag. And then on the inside, you've got the beautiful, and I'm saying beautiful, man, I am like all over the place with words. It's beautiful, 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 video, video, video. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm being very repetitive. The suede goes to the floor of the bag. It's got the 1941 fabric material, which is a beautiful woven type fabric. And then it's got one zippered pocket in the front. And again, it does, I say it doesn't have any structure. It does, it has some, it's a little bit stiff on the bottom and it is a little bit stiff from side to side here, way more so than the denim one is. But I feel like if you have an organizer in it, it basically keeps the leather across the front smooth. So you can see that there's a little bit of waviness here. The organizer gets rid of that. And that's why I like to have an organizer in it. My organizers have been shipped to me. I have the one that I've been using that's about this tall. The ones that I have coming are about that tall. So I can give you the link for the one I have. I don't really want to recommend the one that's coming until I get it and try it out. But if you want the link for either one of them, I'm happy to provide it to you. The only concerns I have about the one that I have coming is that it will come up too high since the bag's getting narrower and then create a line across the top. So that's why I'm not jumping on giving you that link until I get it. Should I try on the bag? I have on my gray sweatpants again. You guys are gonna be like, why does she always wear those? Yes, I will try on the bag for you. I'm not going out with gray sweatpants on. I actually just put this outfit on, or I didn't put the outfit on. I put the shirt on for the video since I thought the bag would be pretty with it. But look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. And let me just try it on my shoulder. Honestly, I think that the strap might drop just a tiny bit more. Well, of course it does with these little clips. It might be a better fit. Maybe that's why they did the different size clips. Let's just test it and see. I don't want anybody else to order this bag and be unhappy because the clips are different. Yeah, so there is a very slight difference in the drop. I mean, we're, we're talking almost none, but a little bit maybe a quarter of an inch. When you have more stuff in the bag, that's when it's nice to have the extender chain so that your drop is just a tiny bit longer. And when I say extender chain, I mean this little chain that looks like the coach beat chain that you can find on Amazon. And it is just wonderful for giving your bag a little bit of bling and then also dropping the bag down. With the bag empty, it's more comfortable to me without that chain on there. But when I get the bag full and I have the organizer in, I kind of like that extra length. However, it's just personal preference. It's what you like. I am, I think, done with this review at this point. The bag is freaking gorgeous. I mean, what can I say? I love it. I... I'm so thankful that I found the wonderful seller who agreed to sell it to me. The leather is smoother than that on my Dove Gray, so you may see some variation in the texture of the leather amongst these soft tabbies, and that is just what it is. I prefer the smoother feel to the more veiny feel of my Dove Gray soft tabby, but it also might be prone to show scratches just a little bit more. I'm kind of all over the place today. I'm sorry, I've been talking like nonstop. So I'm gonna let you go, let you get back to your day. I'm Erin and I'm the Handbag Housewife. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and ring my notification bell so that you know when I release exciting new content just like this. 
You can also find me on Instagram under the same name. Just type in the at symbol and then the handbag housewife all together and I will pop up and you'll see some outfits of the day as well as links to my videos as I produce them. So have a wonderful day and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.